Hello and welcome to a new trip report. My name is Patrick and today it's the fifth flight of the year of 2021. It's already the mid of November. Today I'm at Hamburg Airport and I'm about to board my British Airways flight to London Heathrow. And the main attraction of this trip will be the second flight, which is operated by the British Airways Airbus A380, flying on a very short haul flight to Frankfurt in Germany. So we are going to fly one hour to London and then one hour back to Frankfurt on the Airbus A380 and I'm very much looking forward to this trip and I hope you come along as well. British Airways use this Terminal 2 at Hamburg Airport When the check-in counters opened about two and a half hours before the flight, I was lucky to be one of the first in the queue, as the entire process takes a lot longer than usual, since they have to check all your documents and paperwork required to enter the UK or the final destination of your flight. In my case, I was flying from Germany to Germany, but still I needed to fill out the passenger locator form for the UK. It's only the middle of November, but still the Hamburg airport has already put up the Christmas decoration. When I reached the gate area I was quite surprised to see these nice big windows. And I was also able to capture the landing of my British Airways flight. Soon after the Emirates A380 in Expo livery also landed and parked at the gate next to us. Welcome aboard this British Airways Airbus A320. The cabin is configured in a standard 3.3 configuration. However, there has been a new cabin since August of 2020 with 180 seats. If you compare that to 2002 when the aircraft was delivered, there were only 150 seats on this same aircraft. On behalf of the entire crew welcome aboard this British Airways flight to London Heathrow. For this flight I got the seat 28A in the back of the aircraft and the legroom was okay but not the best. I'm 1 meter and 76 tall. In the seat pocket in front of me there was the safety card and the waist bag. Also British Airways has installed some USB charging ports under the seat in front of you. And what I've noticed while boarding, the first rows also have a universal power outlet. Book IT to an exit. All exits are clearly marked and are being pointed out to you now. Please take a moment to locate your nearest exit, bearing in mind this may be behind you. Window blinds must now be open in preparation for takeoff. Smoking and the use of e-cigarettes is not permitted anywhere whilst on board. This includes the toilets which are fitted with smoke detectors.
As we climb out of Hamburg Airport, heading for London Heathrow, let's have a look at today's route. We will cover a distance of 750 kilometers or 466 miles and it will take us around 1 hour and 10 minutes at an altitude of 32,000 feet today. After the fastened seatbelt signs had been turned off, I switched my seats to 29F on the right hand side of the aircraft. Since today we will approach the airport over the city for a landing on runway 27 and even though the clouds are quite low at the moment, I always love to see the city center of London while approaching the airport. In the overhead panel you can find a reading light and also they have personal air vents which is nice. Kind of unexpectedly, it was time to take out my tray table since British Airways has changed their service concept since I last flew them. They now serve a complimentary bottle of water and some snacks. On this flight we got a natural spring water 250ml bottle and also some crisps and the antibacterial wipe we got at the beginning of the flight during boarding. And to add on top of that some nice turbulence, very nice to see that British Airways brings back some service on the inner European flights. Also British Airways is one of the few European airlines that actually have a headrest on the shuttle aircraft. As usual, in the end of the video I will tell you about the ticket price I paid for this flight. I paid 142 euros for my flights from Hamburg to London and then to Frankfurt. That's just two hours flight time in total, so the price is actually okay. But the fact that we are flying the A380 on the next leg, I think I can live with that price. Welcome to London Heathrow Terminal 5. The local time here is just half past one in the afternoon. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened until the fastened seatbelt signs have been switched off. On behalf of all of us at British Airways, I would like to thank you for choosing to fly with us today and we look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thank you and a very good afternoon to you all. So well, welcome to Heathrow, uh, we're still nicely ahead of schedule, uh, it seems to be a bit of a shock to some of our ground colleagues. Uh, the stand we're going to park on is just uh, forwards and right of us, and there was one of the jet bridges in the way, uh, so that's being moved now, and then uh, we should get the guidance on, and we should be able to park in the next few minutes. In the meantime though, if you could please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened, that would be hugely appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you, Dawson Manuel Acosta. Welcome to London Heathrow. That was the first flight from Hamburg, just a one hour and ten minute flight. But it was lovely to see. The crew was very friendly and also British Airways seems to have improved their service again. So some water and crisp were included and before you had to pay for everything. So that's a nice step in the right direction, I'd say. And maybe the camera would focus. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed and now heading for the A380, so come along. Okay. Well, let me do the aviation, uh, the enthusiast first, is that correct?